That was DW Special Correspondent Aya Ibrahim in Istanbul. Voters in Thailand are also getting ready to go to the polls in the first election since the pro-democracy protests of 2020. A government crackdown on the youth-led movement made demonstrating too dangerous for many, but some former protesters have shifted their focus from the streets to the ballot box and are hoping Sunday's election will bring about change. A symbol of resistance at a march for workers' rights in Bangkok. It's a familiar sight for Padsaravali Tanakit Bibulpon. Known by her nickname Mind, she was among the leaders of the 2020 pro-democracy protests. Now she's live streaming events like this one to tens of thousands of followers and urging them to take part in the upcoming election. I've been doing Facebook Lives because we want to normalize the debate on political issues. In Thailand, politics seems difficult to discuss. We want to simplify it. Ahead of the vote, Mind is hosting discussions with candidates from political parties across the spectrum and breaking down their campaign promises for her viewers. But Mind knows there's good reason for many ties to avoid politics. She's facing 15 criminal charges for her part in the wave of protests that broke out in 2020. Back then, young demonstrators called for an end to military rule and reforms to the country's powerful monarchy. Their demands were ignored and the government cracked down on the movement. Hundreds of protesters were charged under Article 112, a law that makes criticizing Thailand's royals a crime. But the protests brought once taboo topics like the monarchy into the open. Now voters at this election want to know where parties stand. This former protester is now on the campaign trail himself. Pierad Jongtep, known as Toto, is running as a candidate for the pro-reform Move Forward party. During the protests, he led a volunteer security group. He also faces jail time over Article 112. Now he's determined to push for change from inside parliament. I just want the basic principles of living together in society. One, democracy. Two, justice. Three, freedom of expression. And lastly, free and fair competition. Rights groups have warned that Thailand's latest army-drafted constitution leaves opposition parties like Toto's at a disadvantage. But Toto's already proven he doesn't give up easily. Whether on the streets or at the ballot box, he says he won't stop fighting for Thailand's future.